That was Amani Hooker's eighth career interception. It seems like the 26-year-old from Minneapolis just continues to make more and more big plays every season. Hooker is also taking more of a leadership role in his sixth NFL season. In this week's Nissan Insider, Amani Hooker tells Amy Wells that everything in his life seems to be ever evolving. So Amani, you had a lot of change. So now coming into this season, have you done anything differently knowing that you are going to be one of the main leaders, not just in your room, but within the defense and within this team as a whole? You know, for me, that I had to be pushed into a leadership role more than I already was in. So all these things that were challenges last year, I mean, guys learned from it, I learned from, from it, helped us out as a better player, but also just as a better person as far as handling adversity. Can I, you know, help the guy next to me, help these rookies come in? And, you know, it's a new scheme for me as well, but I have to show, you know, I can, you can do this at a high level and still, you know, lead it, whether it's by example or verbally. How do you navigate something like that? Because you're not like the old guy who's right. five or six years older. You're yeah. the old guy who's, their age. For me, it's just not based off age. It's based off experience. Um, I've played the game at a high level in the NFL since I was you know, 20 years old, and now I'm about to be 26. So for me, it was just about, you know, just how can I make this game easier? And the faster I learn the game, the faster I'm able to not just help myself, but like I said before, help others around me. You've mentioned that the scheme is new to you too. How big of an adjustment has this been? New coaching staff, new system, kind of trying to get your feet under you. I mean, I love it. I love the change. I love when I'm hearing new key coaching points that I haven't heard from before from you know different prospective players. Um, both my coaches and the DC Denar, they all play safety. So now I'm hearing different techniques, different things that I might not have heard before that I'm hearing now. Tell me a little bit about Denard. What do you like about his style? What do you like about what he's bringing to this defense? Um, I love his energy. Uh, I love the intensity that he has. Um, you know, he, he's a player, so he knows the position that I am specifically playing, so he might have a little, you know, tidbits of hints here and there that help me out, which I, which I love. But, I mean, he's, he's an intense coach, but he also, you know, has boundaries. He knows that he loves everyone in the room. You know, he's not going to take nothing personal to the guys. What is Steve Jackson kind of infusing in the group of safeties that he's now in charge of leading? Uh, knowledge of the game. I mean, we're, we're learning things that, you know, I haven't been able to learn before that, you know, he's been a player, so he's, he's able to, to say, like, I've done this, so you can do it too, instead of just, you know, saying to do these things and he might not have been able to play before. So I guess, you know, just having that, <clears throat> that veteran, he's like a veteran player in the meeting room, but he's, he's just a coach. We've heard a lot of words associated with the mentality of the defense and what that's going to be, and it's words like aggressive, violent, smart. Um, why is that so much fun to play in for you? I mean, guys play fast. We, I mean, we play this game because it, we want to, it's fun. We play this game because we, we enjoy it. We enjoy being out there, you know, with our brothers playing fast. So when you're able to go out there and just play fast, play careless, but also under control and discipline, then, you know, that's when it's fun, make plays and you're doing celebrations and, you know, doing all the fun stuff. So we're talking a lot about you as a leader and a mentor and all of this. You're also a leader at home. You're a dad. How has that impacted you as a player? My son, he comes to me, asks me for things, looks at me if this is okay or not. And I mean, it's kind of like when I'm out there on, on defense, the cornerback looks at me like, am I in the right coverage? And it's my job to you know, direct them into the, right, into the right path. So it's that same type of leadership mentality. It's a lot of responsibility for somebody who's 26 years old. Yeah. I mean, I had some great leaders around me, Kenny Vaccaro, Kevin Byer, Logan Ryan. I mean, these are guys that, you know, when I was young, I'm watching them be, be fathers and NFL players and watching them manage it. What's the best part of being a dad? Waking up and having the, the smile on the face of, you know, your son or your daughter, you know, coming up to you. Um, the best part that I've been having the last couple of weeks is coming home from work and then have my son and my daughter run up and smile and give me the biggest hug. Obviously, I don't like being away from them, but the fact that I'm coming home and that embrace, it's, it's amazing.